Lenny's and Gong Frenchens. Yeah, because this looks like it's come from outer space and it may well have done. So let's have a listen to it and I shall tell you what I possibly can about it. Let's go. starting with the neck. Bridge first, wasn't it? Then the centre, now the neck. My oh my. 
right, those humbuckers are something spectacular. Right, let's roll around. So, the 650C Colorado in jet glow with the mirrored trash plate thingy. There you go, you can see my camera. Uh, and a very nice bridge, which is, uh, well, it's, it's kind of, um, it's like posh Fender-esque, isn't it, you know? And then you've got two humbuckers, which are, I know I've started at the wrong end, never mind. Uh, and the two humbuckers are pumping out really the kind of figures that you would not expect from a Rickenbacker. I think they're both in the 13s, but you'll see some numbers back here. Um, so the Rickenbacker website, which is even more French than the Gibson website, it's, you know, the, um, we make guitars, we don't have a shop from, we don't do factory tours. If you want one, go and bother somebody who's interested. We just make them, but we don't have the customer service, not really. And, uh, the, and you know, you'll get, if you've ordered one, you'll get one when we've made it. Not before that. Uh, and generally speaking, if you put an order in, it's two years. Ish. If they can be bothered at all. Uh, they are notorious for poor customer service, but they're also famous for making really, really high quality guitars. So if Gibson are Ferraris, then these are certainly either Maseratis or Lamborghinis, aren't probably Lamborghinis, because uh, they've got that one that's called, well I would pronounce it Countach, but I believe that there's a slightly different pronunciation of it. So yeah, so we'll go for Lamborghini uh, with these. So if you have a look, and again, on their website, uh, there's a spec sheet for these. It will give you uh, numbers in terms of neck width and scale length and, and how many frets it's got. Neck material, wood. Body material, wood. And it does tell you that the fingerboard is a maple. So, as stated, this one comes in jet glow, and I, and it's a neck through construction. So, so this is so this is one piece. It's one piece, and that is and that is definitely definitely blacker than a very very dark blue priest sock. Um, yes, so a one piece uh, neck through construction. So you've got one great long lump of wood with I assume two wings, a bit like the. Um, I'm looking over there as though you can see. Uh, as you know, I've got a four to blow three uh, bass guitar in jet blow, and that's the same construction, neck through with two wings tacked on either side, uh, just to make the numbers up. And and it re and it, it really is nice. And what I see, so this is Rickenbacker number three that I've had. Oh, it's a lovely word, to say isn't it? Rickenbacker bacon thrasher, Dick and Decker. Yes. Where was I? This is the third Rickenbacker that I've had through, and all second hand, and every one has been absolutely mint. Which I think says something about the kind of people who own Rickenbackers. They tend to look after them. Maybe it's because they're made of unobtainium, or just that they're, t and they are expensive, they're very expensive instruments. And, they're, and I'll tell you what, they are worth, they really are worth it. They're so well, I, do, I haven't, touched the setup on this. All I've done is put new strings on it and touched the setup and it's at below a mil at the 12th and it, you know, there's no choking, there's no buzzing, it's perfect in absolutely every way. The humbuckers are way better than, than they should be. They look like, well they look a little bit like P100s don't they? The you know, or mini bookers size of them. So two tones, two volumes, all in the, you know, sensible areas. And the switch down here, which is which is perfectly good. You don't knock it, yet it's in an easy place uh, to get to. Makes absolutely perfect sense. We've got 24 frets on, as we can see, the maple fretboard with those dot inlays. <sighs> they were expensive. They were expensive. And they're, and they're still, I believe, in the lineup. What are the, the tuning machines are, are branded, Rickenbacker branded. And um, of course, we get the serial number on the jack plate, which they can have a look at that if you wish. 12, 1956, 6, I think. 
But the construction of these things is is absolutely spellbinding, and um, I should think that you know one of these will literally last you an absolute lifetime. So if you really, you know, if you fancy something that sets you apart from the crowd, and, and Rickenbackers do have uh, a reputation of being jingly and jangly, this is without doubt the exception to the uh, Rickenbacker rule. Uh, this is definitely a blues rule. This is it, certainly going into uh, Gibson territory, I would say. Brilliant, brilliant to play. The action is just so low it beggars belief and uh, they're just really really easy to play absolutely fabulous 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 11 out of 10 for me for this one i've got to tell you so uh, yeah and um yeah they're expensive so uh i hope that that helps if you are in the market for buying one obviously check that jack plate out make sure that you can see the serial number uh, clearly there uh, always nice if it comes from a good home, but they do, but really, they do tend to be looked after. Um, so, sure, there you go. Uh, also, it's always nice if you get the, they should all come with, they should all come, certainly from this era, they should all come with that Rick Hard case. So, sure, that's it for me. Adios amigos. I'll see you soon. Ciao.